Hey everybody, Austin here with another episode or the next part in my series on A Game of Thrones, episode one. So I believe we shall now be on the start of chapter seven. I think we're coming very close to the end of this ep first episode. So let's go ahead and get right back into it and let's see how we are. We're back at, looks like King's Landing. I feel like if I take the steel, that would be... Let's return it. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day, when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer so. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. How is King Joffrey, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. Now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now, and for you as well. You needn't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Which is why you must trust me, my lady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... They wouldn't be willing to help you. Where the 
Bloody hell, he's Duncan. He should be here. No fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place anyone feels going to fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you. of no. the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young. This. <laughs> Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do good many things. But not this. Look at that. War forest. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bob, warder of the moon. Words are wind. Anyone can say the moon. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your lord. The crown, however, wants what you Whatever you've been supplying the start for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little bit. You can't trust your forest, yeah. They murdered our men. It was her forest squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord. Hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal animals will not be. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that. Why not? You know something the Vitals don't? We are talking about trees. We grow them, we cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The Whitehills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does. 
We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who feels better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your world. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son. Griff. Riff will lead the garrison. A seven hells he will, lads. Do make this visit. Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look at this little forest. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I'm ready. You can be me. You can be my highborn ward. <gasps> lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like Hanty? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, <laughs> no! No! What have you done? But no! I don't want a bold lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My no! lord! No, no! Even though you did bend the knee. I, saw... I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. I didn't see that coming. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the boat. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Please. Stop! Don't let him take me! You will not take Stop him! Don't no, please! Ryan, please! Let no. me go! No. Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Wow, okay. Well, one of my main characters has Ethan died. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Well, that was good. Um, I wonder, though, how much of that changes. So I wonder, is, uh, as we make these decisions, what effects, what other effects they have. Does that have the effect of, could Ethan have survived this chapter? I have no idea. That might be have something I have to go back and look at again to see. But, 
like to thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like. The likes do help me out a lot. Also, if you enjoy watching Let Plays videos, go ahead and look at subscribing to my channel. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.